So we are actually here in Victoria, one of the most expensive cities here in Canada. So today we are going to visit a house so that you get an idea of how much is the cost of living here in Victoria. Hello! Hi! Hi, Hi. So I'm with Mia and Mary Chris. Hello! So Mary Chris and Mia, they're actually living here in Canada for almost three months. Three yeah. months? Yeah, three months. Yeah, and then um, she is actually attending University of Victoria, right? What's your program? It's a um, um, diploma business administration. Yeah. Yes. And now she's currently on her first semester. First semester. Term, yeah. I'm nearly finishing my first term this coming July, end of July. Yeah. So, I just want to ask, like, how did you find this house? Actually, um, so basically, I'm an SLE student, so I have um, connected with one of the existing SLE students who's currently studying in Victoria as well. And then, um, so basically, I just message him and ask him if there's any place that um, available near in his place. And luckily, they have spare room and they uh, allow me to stay in their house for. I just want to ask, how hard to find a house here in Victoria, British Columbia? Yeah, to be honest, because when I was in Dubai, so I started like uh, checking in Facebook marketplace and try to find some property management. But I'm having, to be honest, I'm having difficulty looking for for a place to stay. So um, what I did is just connected with someone who's already here so i would suggest if they can connect with the existing students so mm -hmm. they can find a place and basically not to you know uh take a long-term lease mm -hmm. just a temporary or get the airbnb for a few weeks so in this video we're going to give you some tips on how to find a house here in victoria because it's really difficult right now especially it's september intake and a lot of people are looking for a house right now so are you guys ready to show me your house mia yeah <laughs> okay let's go so before we go inside the house i just want to ask mary grace why did you pick basement apartment like what are the options here in victoria Okay, um, basically you can rent a flat or apartment. You have an option to to find a place in an apartment. Mm -hmm. And um, for me, it's quite hard to get the uh, apartment because mm -hmm. considering the budget, mm -hmm. it's quite expensive, especially if you live near downtown area. And um, this place is near Inuvik. It's just like a five minutes drive if you have car, but I don't have car. Mm -hmm. So our place is near in the bus stop. It's mm -hmm. just like 20 to 25 minutes um, by bus. So I considered to get um, one room in three bedroom basement. So basically we are sharing. I, I'm living with one of the family who used mm -hmm. to live in UAE mm -hmm. before. So we decided to share first. Mm -hmm. um, because of the budget so mm -hmm. we priority to save money for the tuition fees mm -hmm. so and we don't have car so we so here in Canada it's very common that you share first with other family um, especially if you're living in like the most expensive one of the most expensive cities in Canada so when it's usually basement apartment basement kasi siya yung pinaka affordable mm -hmm. so um, nakuha namin tong uh, apartment na to is like between 2500 to 3000 for three bedroom basement um, and and it's your preference kasi ba way back in dubai we are kind of used to living with other people yeah. diba so i used to uh, share with my friends in dubai because it's quite expensive as well to Li, uh, to find a place in Dubai, especially kapag apartment siya. Mm -hmm. So, sanay naman kami. So, it's depende sa tao kung mm -hmm. you are used to share with other people. Mm -hmm. Yun, consider nyo muna mag-share muna kayo sa ibang families. And then, once you are established and you find a stable job, then that's the time you can find uh, your long, own place long, long term. term. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's go inside na. Come on, so I'm in the Okay. So here you can see 
the the kitchen the small kitchen <laughs> what i noticed in your house it's not actually like you know like built to be um a basement or it's not built for a family to live here. <laughs> mm. parang hindi siya built na para tirhan. Mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So awesome. parang um, ni recreate nila uh, para lang yung bang ma share. Parang mm -hmm. sa Dubai oh. they used to have the partition, but this one is a proper proper mm -hmm. room naman talaga. So mm. they have to um, actually renovate this. So yes. it, as you can see, it's not really a, you know like a usual. Kitchen. kitchen, a big kitchen, so it's uh -huh. just a small kitchen, and we have a one bathroom mm -hmm. to share. Right? So, um, so is this free? Do you have to provide? Actually, the landlord provided the uh, cooker, the mm -hmm. fridge, and um, basically the cooker and the fridge. Mm -hmm. But the rest, um, puro pulut naman <laughs> or na sa marketplace free, mm -hmm. like yung rice cooker free and then mm -hmm. yung ibang utensils except for spoon and fork. Mm -hmm. So, yung iba halos kinuha lang nung kasama ko mm -hmm. o yung ka-share ko dito sa marketplace. So, mm -hmm. bihirang bihira lang yung binili namin mga bagong gamits. Okay, so this is like a three bedroom basement yes. apartment. So, what's this? Uh, this is the <laughs> kitchen door of the main the kitchen. Yeah, house. the other renter oh, yeah. so Upstairs. it's totally closed so we don't have access this is the door going to garage garage okay yeah. so let's go down so basically here like you live underneath yeah <laughs> underneath. so it's so, a three this is the first room yeah this is the first room it's Yvette's room <laughs> So I'm just gonna stick out. Yeah. It's a, just a normal size. Okay. Yeah. And then our fridge and microwave, we have like mini kitchen. So basically, um, the um, the kitchen was supposed to be here, but they just built. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. So they just build. so they provided yes the fridge right yes. that's yes. usual you don't have to buy your fridge and did you one, get this one now? Like, yeah I think we got that from marketplace so I don't know if it's fifty or hundred dollars <laughs> yeah okay so let's go to the living room but first I noticed this one you have yeah an this extra is a room. mini storage room where you can put all your shoes your luggages mm. or your winter <laughs> winter yes, we have extra yeah we have storage. Some here yeah. <laughs> so here you can see the yeah. living room yeah, the, the common area and the uh, dining area at the yeah. same so time it's uh, <laughs> medyo magulo yung setup nung ano kasi maliit lang yung space mm -hmm. so we try to maximize the space we put our dining area here mm -hmm. and we got two sofas <laughs> nah. so everything that you can see here you got it for free for free so um, if you can just check from marketplace, there's a lot of free items. Ang medyo mag struggle lang sila is to find a uh, service or kung paano mo siya pipick up So kung meron kayo, like for, for us, meron kami yung landlord namin na very mm -hmm. mabait is um, inalaw niya kaming gamitin yung truck or siya mismo yung kumukuha ng mga free item for us. So speaking of your landlord, do you have a contract with them? Yes, we do have a mm. one-year contract. Mm -hmm. So mm. okay. So no. that contract you need it if you have if you have kids, yeah. you need it when you um, actually a enroll primary. them. Yeah. Enroll them to uh, like a, a primary school here in Canada. Yeah. yeah. So let's check the room. The second room. This is our second room. Mm -hmm. A small room for family of three. So oh. Mia is only five, so nagko co sleeping pa siya sa amin. Mm -hmm. So we don't need to have a separate room for her mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. now. So lahat nila nakakita niyo dito mga free. This is the room. This is the working station. Okay, so let's talk about utilities. So how much do you pay for internet? the el electricity like hydro like yung tubig ganyan mm -hmm. so um we have a freedom internet mm -hmm. uh, yung provider so between 60 to 70 dollars per month so we mm -hmm. just split it into two families mm -hmm. so like we are paying 35 okay that's per bad. family mm -hmm. yeah and then the utilities were paying like hundred dollars mm -hmm. for hydro and Mm -mm. and water mm -mm. 100 per month 100 mm -mm. per month yes since you're living in a basement apartment you know that it's gonna be colder during winter yeah actually it is very cold when we arrived here last 4th of april mm -hmm. so it's like 
four degrees. Mm-hmm. Four degrees. It's freaking cold because mm-hmm. I used to live in UAE and mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, very hot there. So, dito talagang manilibago ka. Especially mm-hmm. if you live in the basement. Mm-hmm. Sobrang lamig kahit na sa labas ay mainit. Mm-hmm. Um, we, can, we cannot feel the... Um, the um, temperature Sound. outside because mm-hmm. we are underneath the, mm-hmm. ano nga, the house. So, what would be your advice to people that just looking for a house right now and um, basically starting out here in Canada? Mm-hmm. Uh, for me, um, I would advise them to find a, a temporary place. Like, for example, kung meron silang um, budget for Airbnb mm-hmm. or if they can find a place na hindi siya talagang nakalis ng six mm-hmm. months or one year, just a temporary place. Mm-hmm. Kasi it's better na makita mo na nila yung neighborhood, mm-hmm. kung gano'ng kalayo siya sa school, kung gano'ng siya kalayo sa school na magiging anak nila, kung may anak sila. Mm-hmm. And, um, uh, para para makita nila yung mismong bahay yes. din kasi mm-hmm. mahirap din yung maghanap ng ng place kapag virtual lang mm-hmm. alam mo yon so i would advise them na humanap sila ng temporary mm-hmm. place and then saka sila maghanap ng permanent it's either mag apartment sila mm-hmm. or kumuha sila ng proper mm-hmm. house or mag basement muna sila mm-hmm. so ako so far nagdecide ako na magtagal dito kasi maganda naman yung neighborhood mm-hmm. malapit sa lahat and at the mm-hmm. same time Okay naman. Yun lang, if you live in the basement. <laughs> As you can hear. <laughs> yeah. Well, yun lang. Ang consider yun na expect yun na, na maingay sa taas, lalo na hindi siya cementado. Not like in Dubai, na yeah, apartment. Cement. Oo, oo, cementado. So, dito as in talagang wood ang flooring nila. Mm-hmm. So, you can hear yung mga steps. So, mm-hmm. kailangan okay sila. Hindi sila ganun ka-sensitive sa mga yabag. <laughs> I think when you're starting... I, I, I also like live in a basement apartment before in Toronto and um, I experienced that like like kids are riding around upstairs and you have to adjust. Yeah, so um depend but hindi naman lahat ng ano eh puro basement lang. So you have an option. Options. You have a lot of options. So mag apartment kayo depende rin sa budget kasi ako um I would consider to uh, save muna for tuition fee. Oh. Tapos pag okay na kami, tsaka na lang kami maghahanap yes. ng place na talagang kami na lang. Mm-hmm. Except for now, sa mga nagsisimula pa lang. Mm-hmm. It's okay to share. It's okay to live in the basement. So, depende sa mga preferences nyo. Kung mm-hmm. ano. <laughs> but thank you, Chris, for showing your place and letting us stay for one night. Oh. <laughs> and letting us eat your food for one night. <laughs> Anytime, basta kayo. And if you're going to Victoria, this is the <laughs> the landlord. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> naman. Um, I'm happy to help naman dun sa mga gustong ano. Mahirap lang din talaga yung maghanap sila. Uh-oh. Tapos i-view. Kaya I would I would suggest na mm-hmm. kasi iba yung nakikita ng sarili ng nilang mata uh-huh. kaysa sa mata ng ibang tao. Mm-hmm. So, kung magano kayo Airbnb for Airbnb. two weeks na hindi naman ganun kamahal yeah. or look for a place like for us, meron kaming, halimbawa, mm-hmm. spare room. Mm-hmm. Yung mga gusto mag-stay, halimbawa, kanyara, for a few yes. days, we can accommodate. Uh-oh. Like, I have friends coming over uh, this September intake. So. And our students in SLE, um, some of them are looking for houses. And then, Marikris is actually uh, helping them out to, you know, like, let mm-hmm. them stay here for a few days. Yeah. And then, look for long permanent yeah kasi dito sa Canada as you all know na mm-hmm. kapag lumipat ka kahit mid of the month you have to pay for the whole month mm-hmm. so i let them stay for a mm-hmm. few days while they are finding their place mm-hmm. yeah. and this place is actually 30 minutes away from the airport when you arrive mm-hmm. here yeah yeah napakagandang community mm-hmm. naman Siya, Are you happy here in Victoria so far? Yeah, very happy. I love the weather. I love the place. I love the people. So, yeah. I love Canada. I love Canada. 